Travel team is winning awards and helping Arizona farms be more efficient with its land by helping its crops grow with solar energy and shade. It, it just makes so much sense. 12 News journalist Troy Lynch talked to 17 year old Sarah Bendock, who's improving farming here in the valley. Yeah, Sarah Bendock is a senior at Phoenix Country Day School, and she's already winning awards in the agriculture industry. She is the founder of the nonprofit Growing Green, and what she's really being put on the map for is her work bringing solar panels and putting it into farms so that can help grow crops. So we're here to look at this agrivoltaic system. I'm sorry. An agro what system? <laughs> Agrivoltaic system. Agrivoltaics. What on earth is that? Agri is the first part of the word, which is agriculture, and voltaics is like photovoltaics, which is solar panels. Oh, so you put the solar panels above the crops, and this is all to increase crop yield due to shade, and the solar energy is used to power the farm, like here at Spaces of Opportunities in South Phoenix. And it also prolongs the seasons of the plants and um, helps retain moisture under the soil, especially here in Arizona that it's very dry and it's very hot. It reduces their electric bill by 40% every year. This agrivoltaic system has been at this farm since last January, and this is a win-win for farms. Just look at these jalapeno crops. The red ones, they're a lot they're a lot more spicy, so. <laughs> and we have purposely put some spacing in between each one, as you see, so that the uh, crops underneath aren't shaded the whole day because we do want them to get some sun. They compared the growth from over the winter and summer seasons with and without agrivoltaics and found that with, the crop yield increases by four and a half times. We have noticed, especially with vegetable production, a, a huge difference particularly in the summer between crops that are under the solar uh, agrivoltaics and the ones that are not. Spaces of Opportunity is a community garden that focuses on education, but with Sarah's help, it won the North American Agrivoltaics Award for Solar Farm of the Year. And Sarah is helping install agrivoltaics at multiple schools and other community gardens around the valley. I realized that here in Arizona, we use a ton of water and resources to be able to grow our food, and I wanted to do something to help combat that. And this work helped put Sarah on the prestigious junior achievement of Arizona 18 under 18 list. Students like Sarah are representative of that future hope. She has been an anomaly. When we look at taking sustainable practices and creating farming sustainability that allows for us to make use of all the resources and hopefully minimize the impact on the world, that's a beautiful thing. We're having people who want to learn about agrivoltaics, who want to take this model and apply it somewhere else. And to Sarah, the achievements are great but her goal is to give back something more. It wasn't just about implementing these systems, it's also about teaching the community and showing youth, especially within those schools, like what they can do to make a difference and how they can make us change and expose them to more STEM opportunities. Yeah, the agrivoltaic systems here in the United States have only been implemented the last seven to eight years. And actually, the University of Arizona has a pilot agrivoltaic system program where they've been collecting data for the last few years. But Sarah has been in contact with the Environmental Protection Agency to try to help create blueprints for farms and schools to help determine if they can start impl implementing these agrivoltaic systems, not just here in Arizona, but across the United States. We're here in South Phoenix, Troy Lynch, 12 News Today in AZ.